What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Super excited to be out here today. We appreciate you following us and subscribing to the channel is always being a part of this bass journey and being a part of this channel. Came out today at a smaller lake back out on the Pelican Bass Raider. I mean, I haven't fished on this boat for a while and I just love fishing this thing. This is a bass catching boat, no lie about that. If you don't know, just get on YouTube. Look through our channel and see what we've done on this boat. We've fished this boat, small lakes, big reservoirs, you name it, we've done it. But I will say it's been a tough summer, so I decided to come out on this boat and try to shed some of the bad juju. We've recently been fishing some tournaments and it's been tough. So if you watch our first tournament video, you saw we ended up with one keeper, the rest were dinks. We didn't post any other tournament videos. We did fish two more, but it was still Dinkville and we weighed in one fish one and the other tournament didn't have any keepers so it's been absolutely tough like demoralizing tough but we're not going to give up we're going to continue to get better at it and figure out that body of water it's all about putting in the time and we're going to continue to do that but today is all about just getting out feeling good getting some redemption I call this some healing fishing today I want to heal myself at least that's the plan I want to upsize, get away from these dinks. Believe it or not, I came out to a pretty small body of water. I mean, I think this is like 75 acres maybe, but it's known to have some decent fish and I'm going to try to get on them. This body of water is not easy either. For me, the bite is actually on or totally off. Getting out on the Bass Raider always feels good. Little pontoon boat, 10 feet long. But yeah, man, let's do it. I don't even have much else to say. I think today is all about getting the mojo back getting on some fish first and upsizing the catches. It's been a dink fest. Starting off the day just fan casting. The name of the game is Cover Water. We are in a late summer, I would say early fall based on the temperatures. Water temps are 73 degrees. So it's definitely dropped down significantly, a good 10 plus degrees from a week or two ago. I've got on my hoodie, but of course we're in transition. So hoodie will, hoodie will be coming off into shorts and a t-shirt later when it gets hot but woke up today to 58 to 60 degree air temps haven't been able to catch anything on this side of the lake this season but last year september on this lake was hot that one ah it's a little dink he might come off because i just got my line wrapped ah he's still on now i've definitely seen a lot of dinks this season i don't know what it is but we're just gonna count this as the skunk beater. It's probably gonna shake off. All right, buddy, these guys are wild boys. All right, this is just to kick off the day. This is not gonna be it. All right, good thing about that is I've only been fishing 10 minutes, so hopefully that means fish are chasing bait and they're feeling frisky. I think I did slow down my retrieve on that one, so let me try to mimic that. I'm dying to catch, believe it or not, at least a two pound bass. It's been that kind of summer. That fish bit about midway between the bank and the boat. Just little pieces of puzzle, always trying to put together when you're out fishing, trying to understand the behavior for the day. As we really get in the fall, the bass will start to go up into the shallows, pushing whatever the bait fish are in the lake towards the shallow so they can feed whether it's in the back of coves or just shallow flats and get nice and fat for the winter got one oh i think he's barely hooked Let's try to bring him around really quick oh man god here we're racking up my boat all right let's get him in there all right little upsize a little upsize going on right now heading in the right Oh, oh, oh. Don't hook me. Don't hook me. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I can get you off here. There you go. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing really quick, guys, before I get a hook in my hand. There we go. All right. Upsizing. Fish feels pretty warm. Water temps are definitely warmer than air temps, I'll tell you that much. But hit the crankbait again. I did toss around that bandito bug creature bait. Wasn't getting any hits on that, so... Pick back up the crankbait. Just tossing around this little deal right here. KVD 1.5, chartreuse, and black. Love this bait, works pretty good in murky water. And it's getting a job done for now, at least. 
Got this guy, let's let him go. Oh, there we go. Oh man, I'm literally fan casting this flat. He's turning the whole boat. This one feels better. This one feels better. Let's get him over here. This one feels better. All right, I think we're upsizing again by the feel of it. Oh yeah, oh he's pulling drag too, my gosh. All right, buddy, I'm about to play you a little bit. You are not trying to come up. All right, I'm gonna tire him out a little bit. He's literally running laps around this boat. All right, let me see if I can. Oh yeah, this one's better. If he's not a decent, at least a two pounder, he's just a very strong little fish because he's making me work for it. Oh yeah, I see him. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, nice fish. All right, definite upsize again. I'm just playing him right now. Let me see if I can turn him. Get the net. Come on. Get in. Oh, he's decent. Oh, he's decent. I had to get two hands on the net to get him in. Oh, he's decent. All right. This is what we want. Can't even get. I'm trying not to get hooked right there in the net. Woo. This is what we want right here, boys. Right here, boys. Very strong. He fought. He fought. This is two plus, maybe two and a half. I think I'm going to get a weight on him just for the fun of it. Believe it or not, this is the biggest fish I've caught in quite some time. It's been a tough summer. At least August has been very tough. Two, seven, one on the scale. That's what we want. All right, let's let this guy go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Haven't caught one this size in a while. We're going to continue to try to upsize, but this is a beautiful fish right here. Very happy to actually pull in something with some weight. Had him out for quite a bit because I was just trying to enjoy the moment. Let's let this guy go. All right, I'm still making bottom contact right here, which is what you really want. Throwing a crankbait, getting it to bounce off different objects down there create a reaction bite. It's often a good way to get them on a crankbait. So that's three fish in an hour. Not too bad. Each catch was an upsize. That's exactly what we want to see. Yep, got another one. He's small. He's small. He's small. He's small. He's small. He's small. Right by a piece of wood. All right, not as small as the very first one, but by no means do we want this to be the measure of today. Break out the pliers for this little guy. Got hooked in the back. There you go. Nice and easy. Little dinker. But consistently seeing right now, the closer to the bank I fish, the smaller the fish are. And further out, bigger fish are away from the bank so far. So far. That's what we're seeing. Oh my gosh. I have a fish on, but I think he's wrapped. I feel him pulling back. He's shaking my rod. I think he's wrapped up. All right, let me get over there. I'm going to keep constant pressure. You can see my rod. My rod is jumping. Oh, did he come off? This is going to be one of those weird ones, guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think he came off. I don't feel any tugs anymore. I was wrapped, and so he shook himself off. So where he's located is below the branch and I wasn't able to keep pressure on him. Only pressure on the branch, unless he's just not moving. So we'll try to figure this out. But I think I lost him on the branch. Yeah, my leader's right here. So let's see if I can, yep. Oh, broke off. Oh no, I didn't break off. He came off, I've got my hook, got my weight. That's unfortunate. And this is a good spot where I typically will catch a fish. I cast it in here at first, didn't get anything, went over there and then said, let me back cast, hooked up, wrapped a branch. So what just happened? 
let me give you that visual if guys you don't know, know what I'm saying the line got wrapped around the branch the fish was below the branch you can see the fray here so it might even have been down here on the line but the branch was in between the hook and me so I'm pulling on the branch up here and the fish was kind of loose just shaking shaking I could feel the tugs but he had enough slack in the line where he could just free himself. I definitely need to retie. This line is frayed beyond belief. Since that last fish loss, I've retied, got hitched up about three times, and then lost a guide on this rod I'm holding right here. So it's been some drama since you guys saw that last catch. I'm literally back on it right now, trying to get my head back in the game. Sometimes all that gear drama and issues can pull you out because it's pretty frustrating to deal with when all you're trying to do is fish so i've got a 5xd tied on came over to this shade line right here i've got some shade i want to see if there are fish hanging out in here i want to see what's in this shade before this is completely gone it's 11 a.m right now so once high noon hits a lot of this shade line is gone is there a is there a fish on here? Oh my gosh, there is, there was. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm just having a crazy day, guys. I'm having an absolutely crazy, crazy day. I don't even know what just happened. I was hitched up for sure. I mean, it was rock solid. Maybe when I was coming towards the bait, it freed itself, it does float. And as it freed itself, a fish jumped on. I didn't even know it. So I felt boom, boom, boom. And then he pulled down, came right off. What a fluky day. What a fluky day. But at least I'm making good decisions in terms of bait choice and where to fish. So all is not lost. It's one thing to not have a clue and not getting any bites. It's another thing to make some good decisions, get some bites, lose some. At least we're on that side of the fence. So let's just continue. We won't give up. We won't stop continue to do what I'm doing and get that next fish in the boat. I never used to fish this side. And then I think the last time Warren and I were out here, we caught a few fish right along this side right here. So I said, you know what? I probably need to fish this a little bit more. Just never really was a spot for me, but I think that's quickly changing. Yep, it is quickly changing. It's <laughs> changing just like that. I wonder if that's the same fish. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna keep going. I think I know what's going on with that last one. Someone's line might be down there because it gets mushy and then it jerks a bit. And typically when that happens, you're hooking up on someone else's line because it happened twice in the same spot. that one what a weird bite right off this point lipless crankbait oh he's coming in sideways that's why it feels like that yeah, he's hooked sideways all right <laughs> this guy is he swiped at it and got swiped at the same time wow he's totally 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 pinned definitely been a while since i've caught one probably a good hour and a half maybe even more Bite died off completely, throwing this lipless crankbait right here. I forget what this is called, like mirror shad or something, but it's the shiny reflective one. I figure I've got all this sun. I said maybe the bass will notice the extra shine and this little guy picked it up. So I'm not very mad because at least this breaks the silence and hopefully gets me on to the next pattern. can't tell yet I can't oh man it just threw it I think they're swiping at this thing and missing it because again every time I pause I could not feel any pullback so I think that one was hooked in the side as well literally just fan casting this point right here it's one of the pointiest points on the lake and it goes shallow out a bit into deeper water. I'm only in 12 feet and I'm a pretty good distance away from the point. Right now I'm covering a lot of water in front of this point with this lipless crankbait. Because I can cast it so far, 
and then I can maintain a certain depth level on the retrieve. Right now I'm positioned, I don't know man, probably a good 50 yards away from the actual point and covering all the water in between the point and my boat. So this is a good way to figure out if anything's chasing bait, biting, what they're biting on, how deep they are and all of that is the lipless crankbait. I should have been throwing this probably this morning as well, but hooked up on those two fish, lost one pretty quick after tying this on. Three hours later. Again, 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 same thing. Got him off the stick this time. Got him off the stick this time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I came back to where I started this morning and lost that one fish. Oh, that is so funny. That is so funny. He's running. This should be a decent one. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh yeah, he's nice, he's nice, he's nice. He's nice. Oh man, I'm gonna call it on this fish right here. I've worked hard for this one. Yeah, he's pulling drag. I would say at least another two. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. There you go. Man, guys, I've worked really hard for this last fish right here. I think I'm at hour number eight plus. There he is, there he is, there he is. All right. Ooh, another chunky, chunky bass right here. This is all worth it. Hooked right in the roof of the mouth. Oh man, he is heavy. Oh gosh. Stocky, stocky dude. Hooked right in the roof. You guys probably can't see that too good. He is heavy. Look at that belly. Beautiful, beautiful bass right here to end the day. Oh man. Hadn't thrown a drop shot much at all. Decided to finish a day off with the drop and dropped on this one. Man, are right, we gonna get a weight on this one? Might be heavier. It feels heavier than the 2.7 earlier today. Let's get this hook out. Get a quick weight. Oh yeah, no wonder he felt so heavy. 3.46, basically a three and a half pound bass. This is the biggest one of the day. And this is how we finish the day. Look at this bass. Beauty, 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 beauty. Came out of the shade, give you guys a good look at this fish right here. What a beauty this is. Redemption at its best. That was an awesome catch. I fished about nine hours today. And my last catch was at least, I don't know, two to three hours ago. I was determined to get on one more fish before getting out of here. It was getting really sketchy. And then that three and a half smashed the drop shot. Believe it or not, I didn't throw the drop shot all day until now. I probably should have threw it earlier if I would have gotten results like that earlier. But I wasn't trying to slow down that much and the wind was blowing a lot and a drop shot can be a little difficult to fish in the wind, especially in a very small boat like this. Couldn't have asked for a better ending. I actually ended another video at that same spot and landed a three and a half pound bass as well. That was on a shaky head. So it's kind of ironic the same exact thing happened today. One of my favorite spots on this lake. But today was difficult. I fished all my spots that I normally would hit at least one fish and a lot of those spots did not produce. Hooked up on eight, I lost two. I think I lost maybe one or two others, got bumped here and there. I can't even remember at this point, it's been such a long day, but I can't complain. It's been a tough year of fishing and it feels really good to get on some fish of size today. And that's what I really, 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 really wanted to do. It's been a dink fest for over a month. I haven't caught a two pound bass, yeah, in probably a month month plus anyway guys i am beat i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a good time making it it was really good to get back out on this body of water and in the pelican bass raider leave a like on this video for that also don't forget subscribe to the channel if you haven't already the majority of our viewers are not subscribers so please do us a favor hit that subscribe button it helps the channel grow it allows us to create more content and keeps us motivated to make more great content on this channel. So please do us a favor, hit that subscribe button as well. Let's get out of here, guys. We've got more fishing. We've got more John Bolt conversions coming to you. You guys stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next video.